Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet and I did manage to earn up enough cash to get to the Netherlands. As you can tell, I'm pretty much out of cash again, but I had to buy a bunch of gear, bait, and replace a bunch of my lures. This time I did bring the purple narrow spoon when I kept forgetting it last time. But we are here, I don't know how to pronounce this exactly, it looks like Ghent Ternusen Canal, but it is in the Netherlands. Or it's also called the Urban Paradise. Now, it looks like it's going to be a rainy day, which means it's going to start off a little bit slow. So we may have to advance time a little bit, maybe to 3 or 4 p.m. to where we reach the peak. Now, the nighttime, the peak is as soon as the night hits. So the nighttime's the best time to fish here when it's raining. And it looks like we're going to have some rain for a couple of days here. And then on the next day, it's going to be partly cloudy. So we have two peaks, which is good. So now this place is going to be a lot of bottom fishing but we're going to try a little bit of lure fishing as well but these fish seem to focus primarily on live baits so we're going to have a good time with this guys we're going to see what we can catch hopefully we don't make a complete fool out of ourselves but yes it is raining pretty hard and I'm going to take a look at the map here, and it doesn't show me anything. Interesting. Not sure why that is the case, but maybe you have to play it for a while. I do have my rod stand. And I really don't know exactly where we can fish it. Let me take a look at the map again. Gosh, I can't believe that doesn't show anything. Nothing. To show you any deep areas or anything. Oh well. I'll tell you what, we'll just throw it out there towards those windmills. Let's see how that goes. Let's go ahead and put our rod down. I thought I got that other rod popped up on it. That's frustrating. I could have two of these out there. But I think I can go ahead and advance time. We're gonna go ahead and take it to about four. About 4 p.m. I don't like having to skip that much time. It looks like the rain has stopped, so that's going to help. All right, we're going to start off. I do know that the shrimp does very well here as well as well as the small minnows. So I think we're going to start off here with. Eh, let me see. I think we might do the shrimp. No, not that. There it is. I'm going to toss that way out there. Alright, looks like it's pretty darn deep, so that's good. Now there's something in here called a European flounder. I don't even know there was a, a flounder that's in fresh type water. This, of course, may be brackish water. But we're going to toss... Uh, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do a float rod. Or we're going to try a little lure fishing. Let's try a little lure fishing. I've got my elemental here. Let me show you what it is. I've got the elemental 6 foot by 7 inch. I've got the Callisto MG2500 reel and six pound test and I've got the purple narrow spoon that I didn't have on the other one that is what the walleye love now we're going to see if the xander do it's my understanding xander and waller are in the same family so darn near the same species almost and we're going to see if they go for it too now this is some pretty deep water. Pretty deep water. We're going to try a little bit of this. See if anything goes for it. Well, it looks like we're getting a bite on the other one.
Now the only thing we cannot keep are eels. Eels have to be released. But the eels do come in common, trophy, and unique. So they'll get you some XP, they just won't get you any cash. And I believe you do have the option of keeping them, but you risk getting fined to do so. So, and it's something like 4,000 or 7,000 cash. Not really worth it, guys. <laughs> There's quite a current here, so it's going to the right. And we'll try this for a little while, and if nothing happens, we'll try the float rod. Alright guys, the only thing about this place is I believe that if you have your line out there when one of those passes, it could be very problematic. So I was pulling mine in just a little bit. But barges and other boats will pass through this canal all the time, which is kind of cool actually, but they can cause wreck havoc for your line. <laughs> So I'm just going to go ahead and recast that, pull it in a little bit, make sure that it doesn't get caught up. And we're going to try casting this out again. Like I said, this is not the peak time, so it may be a little slower. Then again, it may not be. Let's go ahead and pull this guy in, whatever he is. Yeah, they go for the shrimp here really well, from what I understand. I might try the minnows a little later. Well, this is a big fish. Let's see what he is, guys. What do we got here? I think we got a thick lip mullet. Yep, thick lip gray mullet. 124 cash. Not a bad looking fish. Yeah, the shrimp is going to pull in quite a few. I'm gonna see. okay now I know about where the boats are, so that shouldn't be problematic anymore. over here so we're not in the way of that. Now I have tried this lure a couple of times here already. I have not gotten any bites. And maybe just because of the weather. But we might switch over to the silver narrow spoon and if that doesn't work. I think we might be going to do some float fishing. I think you primarily want to focus here on the float fishing and the bottom fishing. And the bottom fishing definitely is doing very well. We are going to see. Whoa, this is a big fish. Putting a bit of a strain on this rod. I think it's another mullet. Yep. Trophy one. Not bad. 210 cash on him. 3.433 pounds. And we'll keep him too. So right around in the middle, I cast out this far and I wasn't getting much of anything, so they seem to be more in the middle. Alright, I'm going to switch this over to the silver.
Now guys, if you're not sure what these guys will go for lure-wise, and you weren't able to watch any videos, if you go to the map, you can check the fish species that are here. And each species, will it'll tell you what they go for, which is extremely, extremely handy. Now... As you can see, shrimp seems to be in all of these. That's why that and small minnows. So I made sure I brought a lot of those. Crawfish cuts, another one. Then you got the smaller fish. Again, most of the stuff is either narrow spoons, nano spoons. So your light rods will work perfectly fine here. The only thing you might have some issues with is this guy, the northern pike in the common size and young. But they don't come as big here, so you might as well focus on these guys. And the uh, thick lip gray mullet comes in unique. So, and again, shrimp, night crawlers, red worms. As you can see, they do go for the narrow spoons also. And of course, Xander. It looks like they go for the narrow spoons, medium spoons, so I was right about that. But they also go for leeches, shiners, and small minnows. So, might try some leeches here in a little bit. I don't know. We'll have to see. We're going to be here a little while, because I'm not just focusing on one episode for this particular map. So, we're going to see about switching this over to this silver It could be they just want a silver one, and gold ones sometimes do well when it's overcast like this. That is seriously deep water there. I'm going to try at the slowest speed to start. Alright guys, I switched over to the medium silver spoon and instantly got a bite. I was sure the narrow spoon would be the one they go for, but I was wrong. Let's see what we got here guys, this looks interesting. I think it's another... No, it's a... Uh, what is it? <laughs> A trophy eye, new personal record because I've never caught one before in this game. But there we go. There's a trophy eyed. Not bad. That was a good picture of my first one. We'll keep him. That was entertaining. Yeah, I switched over to the medium spoon. Same weight, same hook size, one up. And they went for it almost instantly. I was sure I would get a Xander, but you know, I have a feeling the Xander might be biting more in the at night. So it doesn't mean we can't try that later on. It may be another episode, but we're going to see if we can't get us another one of those guys. I would love to catch another one. There's a lot of different species out there. There's plenty of bream, and there's, well, the eels we can't keep. I wish we could. I really do. Sounds like we got us another boat. Ooh. Check it out. It's Great big old cargo ship. Yeah, I might cast this down a little bit further this way. I'm getting a lot of current. Sometimes when you kind of yank it like that, I've got a number of fish that way. And here comes that boat. I'd 
Atlantica. I don't know if it has any effect on the fish biting, but I guess we'll find out. Apparently not. Alright, we're going to grab this real quick. Well, he's closer, too. There we go. Picture of that because that's kind of picturesque. Well, this is a big fish, guys. I don't know what we got here, but patience was a virtue, I'll tell you. I think we got us an eel. All right, cool. New personal record, Trophy European Eel. As it says, don't take this fish or to avoid 7,000 fine. Or you can try your luck. <laughs> For 227 or 7,000. What do you think, guys? Yeah, let's throw that in the basket. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, the, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. I have been fine. Oh no, I didn't mean to keep it. I didn't mean to keep it. <sighs> Can't believe I accidentally did that. Oh, I'm sure they hope you to, for you to do it. Oh, damn it. Well, I guess we're going to be here a while to pay for this. <laughs> I'm going to throw this guy out kind of far. Alright, guys. I think we're going to switch over to float fishing. Just to see how that does real quick. Now, I've got a pretty good float fishing rod here in... I do know that they go for a lot of different things. We're going to get a little bigger hook here. Let's see. Probably a, probably a one aught. We'll just go with that for now. I'm going to keep it at 40. I don't know what the depths are for these. Let's start with small minnows. I'm going to toss it way out there. We'll see if anything bites. And if they bite really well, I might switch the other over to that. I don't know. We'll have to see. In fact, I might go ahead and switch it out. Try something different. There we go. Alright, well, looks like 40 inches of the minnows worked. Here comes the Atlanta guy again. Making the return trip. Oh, wow, this is a big fish. What have we got? Another thick mullet or another eye? Another trophy eye better than the last one. Not bad. Okay, we're going to toss that out there now that the boat's gone.
Yeah, I was thinking about there for a minute of cutting that out, but you know what? Even though it was an honest mistake, <laughs> it can happen to anybody. Busted. Oh well. Shouldn't take too long to get the cash back. Just gonna make it a little harder for me, but I'm planning on being here for a while, so we're gonna explore and try to catch every species that are here because I've never caught any of the species that are here. There we go. Need to end this on a better note than what I. <laughs> Ooh, nice fish. Jump right out of that water there, fish. Let's see what we got here. And another eyed. The eyed are definitely near the surface, guys. But I had a good time despite that little fallback. Well, guys, that's our first look at the Netherlands map. The Great Paradise, I believe it is. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode. And we'll take a look at this some more. So until then, guys, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.